still in the year 1632. The next passage is very grim. This spring also, those Indians that lived about their trading house there fell sick of the smallpox and died most miserably. For a sore disease cannot befall them. They fear it more than the plague, for usually they that have this disease have them in abundance. And for want of bedding and lining and other helps, they fall into a lamentable condition as they lie there on hard mats, the pox breaking and mattering and running one into another, their skin cleaving by reason thereof to the mats they lie, down, they lie on. When they turn them, a whole side will flee off at once, as it were, and they will be all of a gore blood, most fearful to behold. And then, being very sore, what with cold and other distempers, they die like rotten sheep. The condition of this people was so lamentable, and they fell down so generally with this disease, as they were in the end not able to help one another, no, not to make a fire, nor to fetch a little water to drink, nor any to bury the dead, but would strive as long as they could, and when they could procure no other means to make fire, they would burn the wooden trays and dishes they ate their meat in, and their very bows and arrows, and some would crawl out on all fours to get a little water, and sometimes die by the way, and not be able to get in again. But the English house, Though it, but those of the English house, though at first they were afraid of the infection, yet seeing their woeful and sad condition and hearing their pitiful cries and lamentations, they had compassion on them and daily fetched them wood and water and made them fires, got them victuals whilst they lived and buried them when they died. For very few of them escaped notwithstanding they did what they could for them, to the hazard of themselves. The chief Sakam himself now died, and almost all his friends and kindred. But by the marvelous goodness and providence of God, not one of the English was so much as sick, or in the least measure tainted with this disease, though they daily did these offices for, for them for many weeks together. And this mercy which they showed them was kindly taken and thankfully acknowledged of all the Indians that knew or heard of the same. And their masters here did much commend and reward them for the same. It was a sad scene that had taken place many times all across the continent. since the coming of the Europeans and would continue for a couple more centuries. We'll hear more tomorrow.